Hey guys, and welcome to week number two of our November series called Upcycle, Roll With What You've Got. This series is all about being content with the things that you already have. I'm about to send you off into the so-and-so show, but I will be right back here after to send you guys off. Enjoy the video, guys. so peaceful. You, th you think this is p peaceful? Yeah. <laughs> Who would have thought that riding a bike would be so easy? Uh, what are you... Are you even... You're not pedaling? No! Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer to oh, I'm half crazy. Go! Oh. Everybody, I'm John. And I'm Brandon, and you're watching The So-and-So Show. You know what I love about you, Brandon? Uh, how I'm such a faithful friend. <laughs> no. I love the way you look at the camera after I've done something amazing. Oh. But yeah, yeah, like you're speechless in my presence because of how awesome I am. It's... Yeah, it's just like that. See, he's doing it right now. Okay, if you need me to tone down my awesomeness, you just let me know so, so you don't feel overwhelmed by it. Just just, just let me know. I think I can manage. You sure? Yeah. You sure? I mean, we could, we could come up with a secret code word like grapefruit. You know, anytime you say the word, I'll know to be less distractingly amazing. Okay, fine. Grapefruit. Well, well it can't be grapefruit now. Why not? Well, because I said, I just told you it's a secret code word. It's secret. Yeah, but if it's a secret from you, how will you know I'm saying it? It's all part of the code. It's maybe. 
there. <laughs> I just love that about you, Brandon. Yeah, makes me feel good. It's time for someone who knows stuff. for having me on the show today. Yeah. I was totally starting to run out of new content ideas for my feeds. Oh. Your, your what, your feeds? Yes, uh, you know, on social. Sysoc, a media post, hair book. Yeah, Cassie's what they call an influencer. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, let's do that again, right? Okay, okay. <laughs> Perfect. Oh! Brandon, ready? Okay. Oh! Uh, unless, yes. Wait, do I do the sideways? It's or? okay, it's too late. They I'm love film videos. At... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, so what, uh, yeah, wait, you're not posting that, are you? No, it's already done. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. wow. Oh, <gasps> already have some likes. Already? That mm -hmm. fast? Yeah, yeah, the faster the better, right, Cass? Uh, yep. I need likes immediately in order to get more than my influencer rival, Social Sal the Gal Pal. Oh. oh. So, hey, so, Cassie, before we go any further, for the sake of our viewers, tell us who you are and what you know. Oh, I'm Cassie. My awesome cousin. That's right. And like John said, I'm an online influencer. I post videos, photos, blogs, tutorials, quotes, pretty much anything else that you can think of. Wow. <gasps> Say cheese. Oh, oh gouda, 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 gouda. <laughs> so you do this to, to what? To inspire people? Uh, yes. Uh, plus, it's because I get tons of likes. <laughs> oh. uh, the video of me and you, Brandon, it has 200 likes already. See? 200? Yeah, but I need more. I mean, you know what they say. More is more. <laughs> no, I think the phrase is less is more. Whatever. More is more. Quote for the hour check. <laughs> okay, so, so what kinds of things do you post about? Hold for hashtags. <clears throat> anyway, yeah. I pretty much post about everything. You know, food, sports, cute animals, beauty tips, homework tips, basically whatever I'm doing in the moment. So today, it's the so-and-so show! All right. Say hi! All right. All right. Hey guys, oh. I'm at the so-and-so show. Check it out. This is a really cool place. Look at that basketball hoop. Whoa! <laughs> Let's go over here. Oh, lockers. 1985 much? <laughs> no big deal. Oh, wow. Check out this. This cool lamp. Don't get into my video. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, look at this, guys. What are you doing, John? <laughs> it's pretty cool. Anyway, hashtag follow, like, subscribe. See you later. Bye. <laughs> so, um. Ah! Social Sal the Gal Pal has a video with 3,000 likes already. Uh, my high five fail video only has 1,500 likes. She has doubled me. I mean, what else can I do? What else can oh, I do? Oh, well, uh, you know what, Cassie? Maybe you could just stop using the phone for a little bit. More likes. Uh, okay. Maybe we should just move into... Costumes. What? Brilliant. Uh. How did you... Everyone likes an unexpected costume change. Say cheese! Oh, go to go to go to. <laughs> Cassie, we really should move No, on. everyone laugh. <laughs> Uh, um, uh, we need more. Maybe we should do a video of us dancing. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Come on, Brandon, show us your moves. <laughs> grapefruit. Huh? Grapefruit. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, it's it's Bubble Story time with Kellen. Hey guys. Hey Kellen. Hey Cassie. We just started Bible story time with Kellen. Kellen is the best. And if I'm lucky, maybe he'll even ask me to help him tell the Bible story today. <laughs> what was that? Uh, Cassie does a lot of posts online. Oh, cool. So what do you say, Kellen? Can I help? My followers are waiting. I'll get more likes if you let me. I just hit 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. <gasps> I'd love your help, Cassie. But you'd have to be off your phone. Oh, yeah, sure. No problem. You should be off your phone. Yeah, no, just you give me a no, 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 Let me hashtag no, no, no. Let me hashtag no, no, just, Please, just, 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 just let me go. Just let me try no, one. No, 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 you no. You're my cousin. <gasps> Looks like we're ready to help. Great. Then it's time for Human Head Puppet Theater. <laughs> Ahab was the king of Israel. 
Hello, I am Ahab, your king. King of Israel, that is me. <laughs> king Ahab's palace was close to a beautiful vineyard. <gasps> Woo! Look at that vineyard over there. <gasps> it would be a perfect place to grow my vegetables. I want it. I want it! <laughs> I want it. But the vineyard belonged to a man named Naboth. Oh, oh. do more cardio. Oh, Naboth, the king has come to see you. <laughs> oh, um, your royal highness. Yes. Oh, thank you. Welcome to my vineyard. Well, your vineyard is lovely. Thank you. <laughs> and it's awfully close to my palace. <laughs> oh, yes, it's been here for generations. Oh, that's nice. I want it. What, my vineyard? Yes, I'll trade you a better vineyard for it. Or, or if you prefer, I'll pay you what it's worth. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, may the Lord keep me from giving you the land that, that my family handed down to me. No. Uh, no? <gasps> right, no. Oh. What? <laughs> So Ahab went home very upset that Naboth wouldn't give him the vineyard. He laid in his bed and he wouldn't even eat anything. I'm in a bad mood. Now Ahab's wife Jezebel came to check on him. Are you in such a bad mood? Why won't you eat anything? Because I talked to Naboth and he won't sell me his vineyard and I want it, I want it. <laughs> Is this how the king of Israel acts? Yes. <laughs> get up, eat something. It'll make you feel better or I'll go get your vineyard. You will? Yes. <gasps> Yay! Thank you. Yay! I'm jumping on the bed. So Jezebel wrote some letters in Ahab's name and stamped them with his royal seal. Announce a day when people are supposed to go without eating and have Naboth sit in an important place among the people. Hmm. Oh, put two evil men in seats across from him. Have them accuse Naboth of cursing God and the King. Oh, yes, that's good. Uh, then take Naboth out of the city and kill him. Ooh. <laughs> Everything Jezebel wanted to happen, happened. Naboth was killed and the word got back to Jezebel. Get up. Go take over the vineyard of Naboth. The one he wouldn't sell me? Yep. But how? He's dead. Oh. So sad. But yay for me! Ah, to the vineyard! My vineyard! A deep, deep, deep. I'm going to the vineyard. A deep, deep, deep. Yay! It seemed like Ahab got everything he wanted. But then a message from the Lord came to a prophet of God named Elijah. God told Elijah to go see Ahab. Ah, the sweet smell of getting what I want. <laughs> Good afternoon. I know you. You're that prophet in Elijah. What, what do you want? The Lord says, haven't you murdered a man? Technically? I... Haven't you taken over his property? Well, that's a little harsh. Dogs licked up Naboth's blood. In that same place, dogs will lick up your blood. Huh? That's right. I said your blood! <laughs> Ahab let himself be consumed by wanting more and more for himself. His actions made God very angry, and God eventually took away the throne from Ahab 
and his children. The end. Wow. Rough story, Kellen. Yeah, things got ugly really fast. But sometimes things can get out of hand when we find ourselves wanting more and more. You know, Jesus once said, be on your guard against wanting to have more and more things. Life is not made up of how much a person has. So we shouldn't ever want things? Well, I don't think Jesus meant that. But if you do want something so bad that it's making you miserable, or if it's making you do something that you know is wrong. There are more important things in life than stuff. More important than followers or views, or likes. Definitely. Thanks, Kellen. No problem, Cassie, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye. I think I need to change my quote for the hour. Okay, you sure? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Be grateful for what you have. More is not always more. Hey, that's awesome, Cass. Oh, and it gives me a great idea for a question. Reveal the question! Oh, yes, what can you do when you find yourself wanting more and more? Yeah, like Kellen said, you can ask God to help you think about something else. Or uh, you can focus on what someone else wants instead of focusing on just what you want. Or, or you can do what Cassie wrote. Find a way to be grateful for what you have. Don't, don't worry about what you don't have. True, and I may not have as many likes as Social Style the Gal Pal, but I inspire plenty of people with the things that I post. You know what? You inspire me for sure. I like you. Hi. Ding, 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 ding. Hi. How would you answer the question? What can you do when you find yourself wanting more and more? I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And I'm Cassie. And this was the So and So Show. Yeah, it yes, was. it was. I really hope you enjoyed today's so-and-so show. I'm going to start off by asking you today's main question, which is, what can you do when you find yourself wanting more and more? When we find ourselves so overcome with greed that it's changing our moods and maybe even our actions, what are some things that we can do to learn to be content with what we already have? Just remember our bottom line for this week, which says wanting more and more can make you miserable. So make sure after the video, you go talk to a parent or a friend or maybe a small group leader and discuss the question. Discuss what you can do when you find yourself wanting more and more. All right, guys, I'm going to quickly pray and then I will send you guys off. Dear Lord, I thank you for the time that we have today to come to you and to talk to you and to ask for strength this, this week. Uh, I pray that as we go about our weeks and as we find ourselves maybe wanting some things more and more, and as we find ourselves getting overcome by greed, I pray that we would just be able to take a moment and just pause and just come to you and ask you for strength and ask you for help in being able to just calm down and be content with the things that we already have in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, that is it for week two of November. I will see you guys back here again in week four. Enjoy your weeks, guys.